Hey everyone, we're going to talk about personal health for a second. There's, you know, something going on in the world right now, and I won't say what it is because YouTube is cracking down on people who use the name of it. Um, which I, I understand kind of where there are people who will do irresponsible things for monetization purposes if they could exploit the kind of bad news that's going on. But on the other hand, uh, this thing is very much a part of our life right now. It's impacting the way that we just go about our day. So it's, it, you know, it's whatever. It's dumb that people are getting struck down by it. But last week, I came down with symptoms of it. I'm not quite sure where I got it from. I suspect it was probably a trip that I made about a week and a half well, no, actually two weeks and a half ago at this point, to Best Buy, but regardless of that. So, last week, on Tuesday, I felt pretty bad. It, it felt like a fever. You, you know when you have a fever and everything is hypersensitive? Um, if you're wearing shorts and you have, like, a blanket on your legs and you move them, like, the blanket hurts? Like, you know what I'm talking about. Just that hypersensitivity... Um, headaches and stuff, and I just felt really gross. And I was thinking, maybe it's because I didn't have breakfast with my coffee in the morning. Maybe this is just a caffeine crash. And so I went to bed early on Tuesday and woke up on Wednesday feeling great. And I was like, okay, uh, maybe that's just what it was. But then Thursday I woke up feeling the same way, if not maybe worse. And on top of that, there was this strange headache. It wasn't anything like I had felt before. Um, behind of my eyes were hurting. It felt almost like my eyes were swollen or being like pushed out. It was just this intense pain. The lights hurt, uh, sound hurt. It, it, it almost felt like a hangover, the type of headache that I had. It was terrible. And on top of that, there was this kind of fog. It, it just felt weird, like I wasn't truly there. I just, I was in my own head. I had this bad headache. I felt really feverish and sweaty and, but also cold. So cold that I actually spent a good hour just underneath a blanket. And what I was thinking was, okay, well, I had a really tall, cold glass of water. And I was thinking, maybe I drank it too fast and I'm just cold now. Surely that must be the problem. So I just like popped under a blanket with my Nintendo Switch, waited for myself to kind of warm up a bit. Uh, but as the day went on, I started to get worse and worse. And this headache got worse and worse. And then on top of that, the back of my head was swelling up. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Um, so I found a thermometer, and I was running a really high fever. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh boy, here we go! So I have a sister who lives in the area, and she's an EMT, and I texted her, and I was like, I can't, like, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> Thankfully, she offered to take care of me, and I trust her, because she's an EMT. Uh, and so for the last week, I've been trapped in this room. <laughs> she converted a guest room in her house into kind of like an isolation ward. <laughs> so I'm looking around currently at this tiny room that I'm in. Only a couple of days ago, I got my computer in here because I was like, I'm going to be in here a while, aren't I? <laughs> so... Uh, thankfully, the symptoms didn't get even worse. Uh, there was a little bit of difficulty with breathing, but my sister has been rotating different uh, anti-fever medication that she also cross-checked with what the CDC recommends, uh, you know, so I don't make things any worse. So my sister has been excellent with helping me battle the fever. Uh, only now, about a week later, week and a half, I guess, things are starting to cool down uh, with my fever. Uh, I'm starting to feel more like myself again. There's still kind of moments where I get really lightheaded and I don't feel quite right. Uh, in fact, today my throat hurts a lot. Uh, 
but two days ago, or I guess actually three days ago, was the worst I had ever felt in my life, probably. My fever was well over 100 degrees. Uh, my head hurt like it was nobody's business. business. Uh, the swelling on the back of my head, it's actually still here. Um, I discovered that those are my lymph nodes and they had swollen up. Basically, lymph nodes are a part of your body that's tied to your immune system. And during, during typically very aggressive or nasty bacterial or viral infections, your body's lymph nodes can tend to swell up because they're working in overdrive to kind of combat the infection. So I found out that that's what that is, that bump on the back of my head, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, the human body is strange, like really weird and strange, but yeah, so I'm now on the mend. I'm probably going to have to stay in here a little while longer, unfortunately. Uh, and now my sister is having problems. So I, it's spread to her now. And, you know, now in the back of my head, I'm going through people that I had interacted with. Not that I interacted with a lot of people. I made sure to kind of be responsible, uh, socially distance myself. But, you know, it's still just scary. Because uh, the problem is you become contagious even before your symptoms manifest. So you don't even know it, but you're spreading it around. And it's, it's just weird. It's a really uncomfortable feeling to kind of have this like invisible enemy. Uh, and just, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know that I am doing better. And that's kind of uh, my story that's going on right now. Hopefully I can get back into it, but yeah. Also, uh, recommend some topics for me to do videos on. I'm very bored in here by myself, not able to leave this small room, and I'd like to do some things. So yeah, let me know in the comments section. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you are all healthy. It's really important that you guys all take care of yourself right now. The social distancing thing isn't just a cute little joke that we're all playing. Uh, it is really important. Uh, all it takes is one person who didn't know that they were infected to touch everything they can, you know, get their hands on, and then for you to touch those same things. It's, it's weird. It's a little bit creepy right now, but... Make sure that you're practicing social distancing. Make sure that if you do suspect anything, uh, it's better to overreact than underreact. Make sure to call your doctor and explain the symptoms that you have. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's weird. The world is weird right now, and I hope that it returns to normal sooner rather than much, much later, but... Let's just be patient, let's be safe, and I miss all of you.